everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing the 10 in 10, so it's 10 products in 10 minutes. This is my morning routine when I just need to get out of the door, no muss, no fuss, this is what I do. Um, I think I used 10. Yeah, I would probably also add a brow gel, but I'm not going to cheat, it's going to be 10 in 10. When I'm trying to rush out the door in the morning, I spend the littlest amount of time on many areas of my face so I can kind of get it all done really fast and I've been doing this for a very long time so I just know what like the next step is and it's just super easy and super quick. I was not going to film today but I wanted to share with you guys the little makeup routine that I do because I don't do like this full glam thing every day so I want to show you like a quick you know 5-10 minute thing that I do in the morning when you know I just need a little bit of pick me up. Um, I just use a couple products. I start off with the Paula Jo Moisture Foundation Primer. I just need a primer if I'm going to put anything on my skin so I take just a little bit of that. And with my fingers I just rub that all in. Some days I will either wear just foundation or some days I will wear just concealer. It really depends on the day. I think I'm just going to do like a little bit of both today just for the heck of it. So I have about a pump and a half of my Makeup Forever HD and I'm just going to focus that pretty much on the center of my face and then kind of work my way out. The place I need most of the coverage is down the center of my face and underneath my eyes so I kind of just like buff it outwards. You can see I'm not really putting it anywhere yonder here, just pretty much in the center. Just making sure it kind of blends as it feathers out. Today I'm going to show you the whole meal deal, so I am going to take a wee bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I believe this is in the shade NC15, wow I actually got like a little bit out there, and I'm just going to take that with a beauty blender and put that underneath my eyes, just you know, really quickly, because when I'm doing this in the morning it's literally just like throwing it on my face, like I just don't even care. Then I'm just going to go over my eye because this is going to serve as a primer for my eye as well. On a day to day basis I pretty much only wear one thing on my eyes and that's my Mary Luminizer. You can use this as a highlight and for your eyes it says it's safe for around your eyes so I just always put that all over my eyelid. It just gives you a nice little shimmer. I'm going to set my whole face and I'm going to use my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Cameo and I'm first going to go underneath my eyes with my Beauty Blender and then around my face with a big powder brush. So just quickly. And then whatever's left in the cap I kind of just take it on my brush and just set my entire face kind of, you know, all over. I do always like to do a little bit of, you know, contouring and all that and so for that I'm using this NARS, um, I don't know what this is, this palette <laughs> um, has just like all over there like really great products in here. So I take a little bit of Laguna bronzer and I just with a big fluffy brush I kind of just warm up my face. I'm not really focusing this you know anywhere in particular just kind of like in the general area of where I would naturally contour. This is just so I don't look flat because if I don't put anything on I look really flat. And I don't find Laguna to be too dark, you just gotta be light handed with it. And then in this palette I do use Orgasm, which is that blush right there, same brush. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on my cheeks. Again, if I don't put any on, I look really flat and kind of dead. And because my Mary Luminizer is right here, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that right at the top of my cheek. Oh god, yes. God, this hair, seriously. So my face is done and I always like to do a little bit of brow just because I feel really naked without it and what I use for that is this Anastasia Dark Brown Brow Duo Powder and then I just take it with a Sephora angle brush. This brush is actually dirty at the moment with a different product but we're just going to go for it. I just kind of like mix the two together and then do like a mash up just on my brow so I kind of just go under it. This just like lightly fills it in so it looks like my brow is a little bit thicker. I don't try and build up any like actual brow shape, I just rather try and fill in underneath my actual hairs. Just so it looks a little bit more, you know, put together. Oh, I can't see. Mm -hmm. Now what I do is curl my lashes. This is a NYX eyelash curler. I give those a little bit of a curl. My eyelashes never really stay curled, so, you know, I can't really win with it. And I've been using this Lash Out Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal, so I'm just going to give my lashes a good coat with that. 
and I put it on the top and bottom lashes because I find that my bottom lashes are really long and it looks like I'm wearing a lot of makeup when I put them down there or put it down there. My cat's eating treats in the background. To open up my eyes on like a daily basis, this is something that I just can't live without. It's the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eye Coal in the shade Nude, I believe. Sometimes I use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, but either one of these, I just put this in my waterline. I feel like it just opens up my eye. There she is. Hi, baby. And last but not least is a lip product. I'm using the Paul and Joe number 207. I've been obsessed with this lipstick lately. I just find that it's the nicest color and it's not completely, <laughs> this looks funny. I'll put it on first. I don't find it to be completely nude. It just gives like a nice like hint of pink. And I like the texture for, you know, a day-to-day -day basis when I'm not trying to like put red lipstick on like precisely. I have a baby here. She just wants outside, but I'm not gonna let her. No. Okay, maybe she really does. And all I have to do is put on a hat and I'm literally ready for the day. Okay guys, that was my 10 and 10. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Bye.